Hello everyone, drum tech drummer and YouTube educator Kenny Sherritt's coming to you with the next installment of my mic placement tips for home recording of your recordings and your YouTube videos. Now I'm basing this whole series here uh, on an eight channel interface because that's what most people usually have at the house. They don't have like some giant bay of inputs. They usually have eight and that's what they can do to make a kit rock. And so this installment, we're talking about how to use that eighth channel in a different way than the other videos I've talked about. Here, we're adding a mic that I like to call the cockroach mic because of where it sits and what the sound of the drum kit looks like to that microphone. Because sometimes you need a certain something something to add some boom, some bottom, like just character to the recording. Maybe it's just too dry and you want a little bit more oomph. More importantly, you may not have the distance to do a, a 9 foot or 12 foot room mic to get the proper phase and a good sound of the kit and a room mic that's effective. So we have invented what's called the cockroach mic technique. Now it's real simple man, you want to just take a basic instrument microphone like this lovely PRU20 which gets a great sound and you want to take it and wrap it in a t-shirt man. You don't want to over wrap it, you know just kind of double fold that t-shirt, pop it in there, fold it over and then you stick it at the part of the kit where you need a little bit more something something. Now today, I'm gonna do it by the bass drum underneath the floor tom because in that situation, to the diaphragm, that bass drum looks huge to This little cockroach is going, oh my God, what a big bass drum! And it adds this beefy Bonham-esque kind of room mic sound without having to deal with the room mic. And then in some recordings in the past, I've used it on the left side underneath the snare drum if I wanted just a bit more rattle of the kit, a bit more Americana kind of air and space and some buzz in the snares because it adds a certain je ne sais quoi to the recording. But today we're going to do it underneath the floor tom, so let me show you where to place it and we'll check this out with a little couple of beats run by. All right, let's get down there. Now you just want to take this microphone Basically slide it close to the area that you want to capture. In this situation, I'm making sure it's wrapped in the t-shirt and sticking it right by the bass drum here. And that way it gets a little of the attack of the kick side, a little bit of space, maybe back it up a little bit, aim it a little bit more at the bass drum, but it'll still pick up some of that floor tom, adding a boom to the floor tom. And there you go, it's as simple as that. So let's give a listen to what that sounds like. All right, so that was awesome, y'all. I absolutely love having it in my mix. And this gave you a chance to see what it sounded like without the cockroach mic, and then with a cockroach mic. And again, we don't have a room mic anymore. We went to the cockroach mic. Just that little diaphragm down there, looking at that bass drum, it's like, oh my God, you're gigantic! And this floor tom, oh my God, it's huge! I'm just a little cockroach mic, what do we do? You sound huge, and it gives you that extra something, something to your recording that you may be able to substitute for a room mic, or just add in because you like it, y'all. Stick around and watch more miking tips, drum tuning tips, tech tips at YouTube, Kenny Sherritt's. And I hope you enjoyed these videos. Until then, I want to drum on some more listening to these awesome high microphones on this recording, y'all.